Welcome, Victory Word. Welcome, Victory Word. Welcome to everyone in the sanctuary and those following us on Facebook Live. Welcome. Wherever you are right now, just take a moment out and raise one of your hands and just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because our Father and our Savior have been so, so, so good to us.
deserves all the praise. All the praise that I have, he deserves it all.
will forever be the biggest waste of your time. Our church mobile text group. Join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live for the Voice of Victory Virtual Bible Study with Pastor Mike. And that is unless we are otherwise notified. Happy blessed birthday anniversary to all who are, ce are celebrating for this month of April. To God be the glory. Amen. And we pray that all will have a blessed birthday anniversary and that the good Lord continues to bless you all to celebrate many, many more. And it will be given to you. Yes. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together and run it over. will be given yes. to you. Yes. Do you need more of a guarantee than that? <laughs> That's Bible, okay? That's Bible. That's right. Okay, so this is the faith walk. And and if we're not walking and believing in faith, then we crawling. We we I don't know what we're doing. But we gotta walk in faith. Amen. And we can't be fearful of giving. And we listen. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen? Amen. He has not given us a spirit of fear. So, uh, you must trust in the Lord. Amen. And lean not into your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Trust him with all thy heart. And lean not into your own understanding. Amen. Trust God and watch him make the way. So let's honor God with our giving so we can sow where we want to grow. Amen. 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 So as you can see when you're giving, you can go to our website at www.victorymerchurch.org and hit the giving button and you can use your debit or credit card to continue helping in, in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God and that is via PayPal. You can also make your donations via Giveify as well as mail in your donations right here to the, our secured mailbox at 11249 East 7 Mile Road, Detroit, Michigan 48234. As always, we are incredibly grateful to those who give so regularly. We thank you, we thank you, may God continue to bless you and keep you. Remember, if you are giving by cash or check, please use the appropriate envelope. And if you are uh, giving by PayPal or Givelify, please use the slip, amen? If you need to reach Pastor Mike or myself, Lady T, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www.victorywordprayerrequest at gmail.com or go to our website www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and it will go directly to our pastor and he will pray with and for you. Please remember to keep our pastor, our shepherd, in your daily prayer again and continue to uplift him. Amen. He continue to throw positive vibes his way. And also for our AP month holiday for strength and endurance. Amen. 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 Our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Road Church family, Pastor Deanna, Lady Harvard, and New Life Ministries Worldwide family, the Scripture of the Church and His Army family, Pastor Roharko Pittman and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Pastor Gregory and Lady Seth and the Zion Hill Baptist Church, Pastor James and Lady Rainsy family, Pastor Dorn and Co Pastor Sylvia Morrison and the Higher Praise Worship Center, Pastor James and Lady Minnick and the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor Charleston and co-pastor Michelle Day and the Road Church. Minister of the Week Clay, Sister Marsha White, Sister Nikki Swan. Pastor James Marks and family in our Victory Road Church located in the country of India. Pastor Danny Mosean family in our Victory Road Church located in the country of Kenya. Catherine Johnson II, Elder Joseph Latham, Elder James Latham Jr. Minister Carol Hicks, Gideon Ahun, Takara Southern, Danny Cochran, Detroit Police and Fire Departments, all of the school systems and students on all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special prayer for the sick, the shut in, and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers and purpose list, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313 243 4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. 
And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put those words hands together. It is given time. It is given time. It is given time. Please encourage and need for our most of the honor of heaven. And remember, God blesses the children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, I got the picture. Yes. ministry on today, Father. Continue to grow us as well as you grow this ministry, Father, because if you grow us this ministry, we will grow. Father, we thank you for each and every giver on today that had it and didn't have it, but had it in their hearts to give on today, Father. Bless us, Father. Continue to guide our footsteps. Lead, guide, and direct, Father. This is our prayer, and it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
sanctuary. We thank God for those that are watching us by Facebook Live and our YouTube channel. God is, yes, he is. a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. I believe I'll say it again. God is, God is. a good God. Yes, yes. yes, he is. Yes, he is. Would you please put your hands together for the voices of victory this morning? Amen. 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 Praise and worship. Amen. Yes, we thank God. We thank God for all that he has done, yes, Lord. all that he is doing, yes. and all that he's going to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Why? Why do I thank you? Because you deserve it. Yes. You deserve it. All of the glory belongs to him. I believe I'll say that again. All of the glory belongs to him. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. You know, he deserves it not just because of what he does, but he really deserves it because of who he is. Who he is, who he is, who he is. And that makes him so good. That makes him so good. That makes him so good. Because of just who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I be thinking so much about it that, you know, uh, oh, I, I have such a grateful praise in my spirit. Oh, yeah. A thankful praise because I think about how when I go home and it's cold in the house, I can go right to the thermostat and turn it off. Yeah. We, we take that for granted that when I get a little hungry, and I get hungry. I go to the refrigerator and I open it up and, you know, I get something out. I don't think you hear me today. The things that we take so much for granted, when there's people that wish they could be in your position, in your situation, and you think your situation is bad. Now, it may not be what you want it to be. But thank God it's not what it used to be. We are praising and thank Victory word, as we grow in God, we should have more love for what he's done for us and what he continues to do for us day by day. He, he's, he's a wonderful God. He's a good God. He's a gracious God. He's a merciful God. But you know, what I really love about him being God. This is where I shout. He's all of those things. But above all that, he's my God. Yes. See, when he becomes your God, yes. Yes. It, it has a different feel. Let me slow my roll. Let me slow my roll. Victoria, I was a little frustrated yesterday. Had some things happen. I had got home with some things in the neighborhood and uh, frustrated me. And I was off, I was off balance for a few moments. And 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 Holy Spirit woke me up this morning and He said, "The same energy that you had in that frustration, I need you to give me that same energy right. today." Right. I said, "Lord, well, since you want that energy, I'm ready to go for you, Father." Yeah. Because you know what? You have to understand that we all go through human experiences, but we can't stay there. We have to come out of ourselves. We got to go beyond whatever the issue is and still say, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I praise you. Through it all, through it all, through it all, through it all. Let me, let, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, let us pray because I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, most gracious Father, we come before you this morning saying thank you. Lord, thank you not because you're God, but because you are our Father and we have a relationship and an intimacy with you. 
and holy is your name. And so today, Father, we came to this place to give you praise, to give you worship, and tell the devil he didn't win. Lord, we are here today to let the enemy know he did not win and that we are victorious because there is victory in the word. And so, Father, today we come prepared to praise you and prepare to receive that what you have for us. And so now, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for you truly are my strength and my redeemer. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord God. Would you stand to your feet as the word is being read on this morning? Would you go to Malachi, the third chapter? Starting at the sixth verse, and I'm reading from the message translation. I shouted off the first first three words. I am God. I, I, I am God. I, he said, I am God. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I, I am. I, I haven't changed. And because I haven't changed, you, the descendants of Jacob, haven't been destroyed. <laughs> You have a long history of ignoring my commands. You haven't done the thing I've told you. Return to me so I can return to you, <laughs> says God of the angel armies. You ask, but how do we return? I shouted right here too, victory word. Begin by being honest. <laughs> do honest people rob God? But you rob me day after day. You ask, how have we robbed you? The time and the offering, that's how. And now you're under a curse, the whole lot of you, because you're robbing me. Bring your full tithe to the temple, treasury, so there will be ample provisions in my temple. Test me in this and see if I don't. Here it is. Open up heaven itself to you and pour out blessings beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. Yes. For my part, for my part, I will defend you against marauders, protect you, protect your wheat fields and vegetable gardens against plunderers. Mm -hmm. The message of God, the angel armies. You'll be voted happiest nation. <laughs> You'll experience what it's like to be a country of grace. Oh. God of the angel army says so. God says, you have spoken hard, rude words to me. You ask, what did we ever do? That, when, did, when did we ever do that? He said, when you said it doesn't pay to serve God, what do we ever get out of it? When we did what he said and went around with long faces, serious about God of the angel armies, what difference did it make? Those who take life into their own hands are the lucky ones. They break all the rules and get ahead anyway. They push God to the limit and get by with it. Victory Word, would you do me a favor and read the 16th verse? Because all of that other had nothing to do with us. Read the 16th verse now. Let's read it together. Then those whose lives honored God. There we go. God got together and talked it over. God saw that they were doing and listened in. A book was opened in God's presence, and minutes were taken of the meeting with the names of the God-fearers written down. All the names, those who honored God's name. Can you keep reading with me, Victory Word? God of the angel army said, they're mine, all mine. They'll get special treatment when I go into action. I treat them with the same consideration and kindness that parents give their child who honors them. Once more, you'll see the difference it makes between being a person who does the right thing and one who doesn't between serving God and not serving him. I want to preach for the sermon topic this morning, Victory Word, the stagnation of negative conversation. 
The stagnation of negative conversation. Would you turn to your neighbor and just say, neighbor, neighbor. What, have what have you been saying? Say that to one more neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. what have you been saying? Turn to another neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. my words, my results. Your, your words, your results. Your results. You may be seated in the presence of our God. Amen, amen, amen. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go victory word. Stagnation is the state of not flowing or moving. A situation in which something stays the same and does not grow and or develop. Stagnation is when you are not developing in your spirit, man, and you just stand still. Listen, in the Old Testament, tithes were a mandatory contribution of one-tenth of one's agricultural produce, livestock, or income, which was given to support the Levites, the priests, and the maintenance of the tabernacle or temple. Offerings, on the other hand, were voluntary gifts Presented to God as acts of worship, gratitude, repentance, or dedication. These offerings could include sacrifice, sacrifices, grain offerings, drink offerings, and other items specified in the Mosaic Law. Victory word, I'm so glad that Jesus is our sacrificial lamb and our sacrifice. So what the law did in the old day, he completed it and given, and he's given us something called grace. So it is not mandatory in the sense of tithing for the tenth like it is in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, under being under grace, he says, it doesn't, you don't do it because it's a law. Now you do it because you love me. We're in relationship, so it's not based on something you have to do. It's something that's in your spirit that you want to do because God has blessed you with all that he's blessed you with. So in the New Testament, they were waiting on Jesus to come back so quickly that they, and they, they went and they gave everything. So they got to a place where they said, you know, a tenth ain't enough. I got to give you all of me. Is there anybody in the room today that's willing to give God all of them? Yeah, listen, Victory Word, Word family. There's going to be a time in your life when you have to give of yourself. And listen, I want to go to the 16th verse because it says, then those whose lives honor God got together and talked it over. Let me say this and come down your road right now and say, you need to get to with people that's talking the same language. You cannot afford in this day and time to be around with people that say, you can't do this and you can't have that. And this is, see, the stagnation of negative conversation makes you keep your money in your pocket when God tells you to sow the seed. I'm here to tell you, he don't need that. They don't need that. This don't need that. It ain't about what I need. It's about what God said. And when God says he's going to bless you, he's going to make you the head and not the tail. When God said he's going to turn some things around in your life. When God said you can have what I said you can have. When you're ready to do it just like he said to do it, then you'll be able to walk out on faith. Then you'll step out on this word. Then you'll say, I'll do what you want me to do. I'll go where you want me to go. I can have what you said I can have. I want to be what you said I can be. I told y'all I felt like preaching today. You better hear me today, Victory Work. Don't be around people that ain't going in the direction God is sending you. Because all they going to do is drain you. Are you tired of being drained in this house today? If you're tired of being drained, I dare you to stand up. High five your neighbor and say, I'm not being drained no more. I'm not going to let this stop me no more. I'm not going to let you stop me no more. I'm not going to let this situation stop me. No more. No more. Can we get higher in here today? Can we get higher in here today? Come on, let's go, Victory Word. Let's go, let's go. Hallelujah. Yes. When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Yes, he will do it. 
I'm tired of being stagnated. I'm tired of carrying other people's burdens. I'm tired of being around somebody who don't want to go nowhere spiritually. Don't want to go no higher. Just want to stay right with stay right where you at, baby. I'm going higher. I'm not going to let my conversation be stagnated anymore. If that's what you want to have, it's all right. But don't get mad with me because I'm going up the King's Highway. Going higher. Higher. Yes. 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 We're going higher, Victory World. And we decided as a body not to be stagnated. So I'm not going to be stagnated in my praise. I'm not going to be stagnated in my worship. I'm not going to be stagnated in my giving. I'm not going to be stagnated in what comes out of my mouth. Because he said that I could have what he said I could have. Do I have any witnesses in the house today that truly believe you can have it? said, God of the angel army said, they're mine, all oh, mine. Victory word, let me tell you this today. You are his. You are God. You are not of yourself. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. You are prime property. Don't get it twisted. You are worth more than what you know. And I'm here to tell you today, let not your heart be troubled. I'm here to tell somebody today, it ain't over. It ain't over. It's just beginning. Your best days are ahead of you. Your bad days are ahead of you. Fret not yourself because of the evil doer. I'm here to tell somebody today that you gotta sanctify yourself. And when you sanctify yourself, you don't have no stagnation. You don't have negative conversation because we serve a God. We serve a God. We serve a God who sits high and looks low. In other words, he's got my highs covered. He's got my lows covered. He's got me covered. Do I have any witnesses in the house today that know that he's covering me right now? He's covering me. Have five your neighbor and say he's covering me, he's covering me. His word said he'll open up a window and pour you out a blessing. Anybody want that window to be open? Then I dare you to worship him. I dare you to praise him. I'm talking about when you're down and out. You're praising when you're down. You're praising when you're up. You're praising when your back is down. He'll be with you when you're in the back. He'll be with you in the front. He'll be with you on the side. Because we serve a God who is not only God, but he is our Father. Somebody praise him in here today. He said, God saw what they were doing, and he listened in. Yeah. <laughs> See, when you start speaking the same language, God begins to listen in. And as he began to listen in, he said, a book was open in God's presence, and minutes were taken of the meeting. Well, wait a minute. He said, you've been praising me. Let me put something in your account. You've been worshiping me. Let me put something in your account. You've been down, and they counted you out, but you kept on worshiping me. Let me put something in your account. Let me put some more joy in your account. Let me put some more peace in your account. Let 
He put some more love in your account. He said, and we was up in God. First, and the minutes were taken up the meeting with the names of the God fearers. Here we go, right there. You better fear God. The God fearers written down all the names of those who honor God's name. We're about to go up now. Is there anybody in this room that's ready to honor God's name? Not your name, God's name. The name that's above all names. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Great I Am, the bridge over troubled water, the water when you're thirsty, the bread when you're hungry. Something about that name, Jesus. Somebody ought to shout, Jesus, he's my strong tower. Jesus, he's my doctor in the sick room. Jesus, he's a lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus, wipes tears away from my eyes. Jesus, the Lion of Judah. Jesus, the Rose of Sarah. Jesus, the Lily in the Valley. Jesus, my Kingsman Redeemer. Jesus, 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 he's a rock in a weary land. Jesus, wipes tears from my eyes. Jesus, that puts money in my pocket. Jesus, I worship, I worship, I don't know a worshiper. Jesus, something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Come on, victory world, let's worship him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. not serving him. I'm here to tell somebody today, you just keep doing what's right because God is taking notes. He's taking minutes in the holy Bible, in his, in his holy His holy uh, manuscript. He's taking notes and he's, he's checking his list. He's making a list and he's checking it twice. Go and find out who's been naughty or naughty. You gotta be nice when others are being naughty even towards you. You got to have yourself under subjection because God wants to pour, open up the window and pour you out a blessing that you can't even receive in your wildest dreams. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm glad you're asking. Whatever you've been dreaming about, he's better than that. Whatever it is you want, he's better than that. Whatever it is you're desiring, he's better than that. Whatever it is that you're seeking for, he's better than that. Woo! So now that I've decided to keep negative conversation out of my mouth, when I decided to do that, I decided to keep negative people out of my sight. No. Don't be mad. Don't be mad because you only got one friend and one cousin that you talk to now. God is just cleaning up some areas because he needs to move them out the way. So when you shout, you won't get in the they, they won't get in the way of your victory. Come in, not 
that strange yes. that he has you isolated. Yes. Yes. He's separating you from some things he's about to do for you. All right. Amen. But you got to be all right with the separation. Yes. You got to be okay with what God is doing yes. and stop worrying about what man is saying yes. because that's the end of the day. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is he that's going to bless you. It is he that woke you up. It is he that laid you down last night. It is he that has put a praise on your lips, dancing in your feet, joy in your spirit. And he, you, you, you couldn't got that nowhere else but from him. All that you've been through, all that you had to go through to get what you got. And now you're going to give it up for some separation with somebody's nasty communication. No. No. Clark's sister said, no, 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 no. No. It's not all in vain. Because at the end is eternal gain. Eternal gain. I'm looking for eternal gain. Not something that makes me feel good just today, but I'm talking about this thing that'll make me feel good tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday. When I'm all by myself, I'm never by myself because he's with me all the time. And once I understand who he is and who I am in him, then all things got to be subject to what I say in my life. It has to be subject because I am the authority. And since he made me the authority, I might as well have what he said I could have. I might as well do what he said I could do. You might as well go on with me. You might as well come on and with me. But we better be speaking the same language. And I don't know if we're speaking the same language because when trouble comes, you're going to worship in the midst of it. You're going to praise him in the midst of it. You ain't going to just fall down. You're going to fall down and get back up again. You're going to weep me, may endure for a night. Weep me, may endure for a night. Troubles might endure for a night. Situations might endure for a night. But joy. Woo, but joy. But joy. Joy. I'm talking about joy. Unspeakable joy. The joy that's in me. The peace that surpasses all understanding. When they think you ought to be falling out, you start standing up. When they think you're on your back, you start praising him. You start worshiping him. You decided to make Jesus your choice. What is your choice today, Victory Word? Whose side are you on? And if you are on the side of my God, you ought to praise him today. Don't you know he'll be there for you? You ought to praise him today. Don't you know he's your God in the sick room? You ought to praise him today. Don't you know he's more than money? He's more than money. I'm talking about a real God. Clap your hands and say, yeah. I feel like going on. Do you feel like going on? 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 Can you keep on moving? I gotta keep on moving. I gotta keep on going. I can't stop now. I gotta keep on walking. Keep on walking by faith. Keep on walking by faith. Keep on praising him by faith. Keep on singing by faith. Keep on moving by faith. Because now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. I don't have to see it in the natural. I believe it in my spirit. Is there anybody here? I got what I came for. My words, my results. Your words, your results.
exalt. Give God a hand praise in this house today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> deserve it. All of the glory. You deserve it. All of my praise. You deserve it. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here that praise the Lord? Can you praise my God? Come on, quick work. Give him a hand praise one more time. Blow your horn in this house today. Come on, blow your horn. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. Somebody say hallelujah to the king. Hallelujah to the king. Say it like you mean it. Hallelujah to the King. Yeah. 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 Let's give you one more hand praise today. If you would. Hallelujah. 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 Look where he brought us from. Look where he brought us from. Look where when you look back over your life and begin to think things over. I can truly say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I dare you, I dare you to trust me. I dare you to trust God. I dare you to put your faith in him and not in them. Not them is not your job, not your spouse, not your children, not your money. I said put your trust in him. Put your trust in the one that woke you up this morning, started you on your mind. I can't let it go today. I just got to Is that good? Clapping in your hand, praises on your lips, joy in your dance. Why? He's done great things. He's done great things. I say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Come on, we praise him in this house. somebody who can't praise him today. You ought to say hallelujah for someone who can't say it this morning. But victory word is standing in the gap for somebody who's looking for a healing, who's looking for deliverance, who's looking for peace. We stand in the gap today here in victory word shouting his name, praising his name, worshiping for those that may be 
sick in the hospital, sunny and in their home, we here praise the devil for you. Father, thank you for looking beyond our thoughts and seeing our needs and letting us see this day. trust him supernaturally now. Yes. Sow a seed. Yes. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. Just sow it. Yes. And when you sow it, he will grow it. Yes. Yes. And remember, when you plant your seed, seed and harvest is two different seasons. Yes. So you got to wait on the Lord. Right. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right. oh, when I think about it, yes, yes. I was just sharing it with Lady T, yes. and we shared it, but spiritually speaking, this is the most blessed I've been in my life. Yes. Where I'm at right now in my life, spiritually yes. so, yes. it's, the ble it's the best, yes. it is the sweetest thing I know. Yes, yes, yes. 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 The things that, what, what troubles my spirit is the little things when we let trip us up. Yeah. And we say we know God. Yeah. Say we love God. Yeah. Say we profess God. Yeah. But the Bible says, how can you love God who you've never seen and hate your brother or have an order against your brother or have some kind of, 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 of schism? We got to get away from all that and just say, Lord, I love you. Yeah. 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 Not about me. Yeah. It's all about him. Yeah. And when we get out of this haughty spirit, yeah. he can use you. Yes. Yes. He can use you. I can't be in the pulpit on Sunday and soon the service is out, I start talking about you and, and we ain't even got out the sanctuary. My God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Pastor. I can't do that yeah. and say I know God, AP. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't because guess what? Your very speech will betray you. Uh -oh. My God. My God. Oh, God. Yes. They told the disciples, you was with Jesus. How do you know? Because you sound like him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. 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 Now the opposite side of it is if you've been with him, your speech ought to change. All right. Yes. Come on now. Language. Yes. Yes. Because my God teaches you a love language. Yes. It's a love language. Yes. Hallelujah. Didn't say you had to like him, yeah, but you there. definitely got to love him. Yeah. Right. And loving him sometimes is holding your peace. Yes. Holding your tongue for peace. Uh -huh. yes. Lord, thank you. That's the thing. Victory word. Hallelujah. The songwriter put it this way. 
This peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And since the world didn't give it, they can't take it away. So if somebody's taking something from you, evidently God didn't give it to you. Because my God is not an Indian giver. He don't give it and then take it back. So in other words, if you lost it, it's because you gave it up. Because of your language and your conversation. So watch what you say and be careful what you think. Yeah. Because now that we're kingdom conscious, even your thoughts will betray you. Yes. Help us, Lord. Help us. Yes. 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 So the writer said this, increase my courage, right. Lord. Yes. Allow me to face those things that I need to face yes. and face them in love. Yes. And once I face them in love mm -hmm. and have that communication, which means to be able to not only communicate, but to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Because I can communicate to you, but if we're not on agreement or in love, mm -hmm. you won't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. That's right. Say that. Right. Say that. Yes, God. Yes. Ricky, word, I love you. Love you. Listen, yes. listen, I'm sorry. If there's one that would like to give their life to Christ. Yes. Yes. If there's one that would like to give their life to Christ. You're watching at home, you can give your life right now. Yes, yes. The Bible says this, and just repeat this in the spirit that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth yes. the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Once you believe on who he is and understand through your confession, speaking it with your mouth, that you receive him, then he shall rise in you. And then you'll be a mirror image of Christ in the earth. Amen. Amen. That's all it has. That's all. That is the beginning of the process to salvation. And if you'd like to give your life, that's all you have to do is confess and believe. And then I challenge you to join a church that will teach you the realities of serving a true and living God, the God that lives in you. Not one above the sun, moon, and stars, even though he created the sun, moon, and stars but the one that lives inside of you. And if that church is the victory word church, we are a what? Judgment-free zone. We don't beat you up. We pick you up. And we watch God lift you up. For this is a place where lives are being changed. Hurts are being healed. Hear me today. And hope is being restored. For we are empowering lives to live purposely for him. If you'd like to be a part of the Victory Word Church, all you have to do is call our office at 313-243-4512. You'll be glad you did. We'll pray with you the prayer of salvation and invite you to be a part of God's family and be in this part of the vineyard. Amen. Amen. Victory Word, I enjoyed myself this morning. Did you enjoy yourself today? Did you enjoy this word? Well, let's come back here next Sunday and do it all over again. Amen. 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 Stand to your feet. We're going home. We're going home. Amen. I love you, Victory Word. I love you, Word family. I thank you for those that's watching and tuning in. If this is your, your church and you can't be here, sow a seed into this ministry. You're sowing into good ground. Amen. We're a small church, but we serve a big God. We serve a big God. And guess what, Victory Word? The best is yet to come.
ça Thank you. 